Hey everybody, welcome back to Epiphany Week. I am Jessica Henry Gray. I'm excited to have you with me on my YouTube channel. Now this week is special because as you know, if you've been watching along, this is day four of our special Epiphany Week. Today, I'm gonna introduce you to a short snippet of a video I have on my Epiphany page on mixing fall colors, just mixing colors in general. There's a lot to learn. And in this example, I take some fall leaves right up from nature and it's a plenary video. So I'm sitting out on a picnic table and I've got the leaves and I'm mixing the colors with the leaf on my palette right onto a canvas. All right, so I hope you enjoy this video. Now, this is Epiphany Week, so I want you to check out the links below. All right, you guys, I will see you on the other side. All right, everybody, welcome back today to another fun-filled adventure into oil painting. Today, we are going to talk about color mixing and what better time of year to explore color than in the autumn. So we've got gorgeous fall colors today. And what I have done is I've selected some leaves. They're here because it's under all my stuff because there's a breeze flowing and they, my leaves are flying away. So one thing I like to do is I like to take some of these leaves and I'll just take one at a time, set them on my palette and practice mixing the colors. Now I have a, just a blank canvas. This is kind of a, kind of a junk canvas. I'm, I don't really care about these. They were just cheap. I think at Michael's or whatever. Um, but I like to use these for practicing color mixing. So this is what I do. Now I've got my palette here and you can use any palette that you have. And I'm just going to set these off to the side and maybe I'll just take one leaf at a time and I set it directly on my palette. Now I'm just going to take a small brush. I've got my paper towels here and going directly onto my palette. I'm going to practice mixing that color. Got some alizarin permanent and some cadmium red. Now I'm taking a little bit of each and I'm mixing them together to see where we are. You can even put it directly on your subject. So this is a, the standard colors that I have on my palette today. I've got my titanium white and cadmium red light, cadmium yellow light, cadmium yellow medium, yellow ochre, burnt sienna, ultramarine blue, phthalo blue, alizarin permanent, and phthalo green. And I threw on some quinacridone magenta because I happen to have it in my bag. So we'll play with that a little bit. It is not my standard color, but with the gorgeous colors, it's kind of fun. I do keep it in my bag because sometimes there are some pinks that you just cannot mix. So if you're not sure, you can kind of just put that color right onto your subject and you can see what direction you need to take it in. Let's take some of that magenta and see what happens. There, that's pretty close. Now you can take your junk canvas, you've got leftover canvases, and see where you are on here as far as matching that color. A little bit more of that cadmium red. Let's take some of that yellow, cad yellow. See how I paint my colors together? Because you don't want to just pancake batter mix your paint. Just little bits at a time. See, I took a big pile of yellow, but I paint that into my other color. Let's grab a little bit more, just to try to get that orangey color right in the middle. See how close that is? If you take cadmium red and cadmium yellow, you get a really nice bright orange. But remember, on your canvas, you can mix colors directly on into your paint as you're mixing. That, so I'm pretty happy with that. We can darken it a little bit with some blue. Now we get a richer, deeper red into that. So my objective is not to paint a leaf, but to capture the color. Let's set this leaf aside. Let's work on a yellow. So 
I'm assuming we're going to start with right there. Now see, two little piles, and I paint those together. That's pretty close. To get that really bright, clean, pristine yellow, let's take some cad yellow light with the cad yellow medium. Oh, we're getting places with that. See now how that looks like that yellow? Let's put some brown in there to really echo that fall leaf color. We've got some burnt sienna. We'll deepen it a little bit more with some blue. more sienna. It's mixing with the green and the yellow, or the blue and the yellow and getting green, so I'm going to wipe my brush off and try to get a little more of that burnt sienna in there. There we go. Now let's blend that into here and see what we get for those spots. See, now we're getting places with that. Look at that. Mixing that some of the yellow. You do get that of color mixing there. So far I haven't been using anything strange. I mean other than that quinacridone magenta that's different. Now I haven't forgotten about blues and browns of the tree trunks and grays but I want to talk one more thing. A lot of people ask about painting transparency. So I'm going to hold this like this and do what I can to put it here. <laughs> so if I hold it in my right hand and try to do this with my left hand, let's see what we can come up with. Of course, I always go to the cadmium yellows for transparency. A little bit of phthalo green. Carefully paint those colors together. Now I can't really take and hold this up to that and see if I get the right color. So I'm going to have to put it on my canvas here to see if we're getting within a foot. If you're very careful with that phthalo green, you should be able to get that color just so. So here's a stem, or a darker green. And because they're thicker and heavier, they're not getting as much light. Let's just put those stems in to identify the transparent contrast. Okay, cleaning that dark off my brush, I want to go back into some of that more pure, brighter spring green. lovely day today doing this. Yeah, I think we're getting that transparent color. Cadmium yellow light, a little bit of white, or a little bit of green, phthalo green. And there we are getting that. Maybe let's use a little bit less green and see how brilliant glowing we can get that. Now you can really offset something to look like it's glowing if you darken around it. So just take a moment. We're going to really darken around that so you see how much it pops. Blue. Brown. So if you're painting something and you want to try to create the illusion of it glowing, darken around it. 
See how that looks like it's glowing? I don't, from your perspective, from where I'm looking, there's a nice dark background of those trees back there and that really makes it look like it's offset. So let me just wrap that up here. everybody I hope you enjoyed that video on mixing fall colors and remember this is a shorter video of a longer one that is on my epiphany page links to that are below in that video I have a lot more on mixing colors and how to arrive at getting accurate representations of color now I also take those colors and do a short little demo of another painting just plein air right there while I'm at the scene and that is another video that is coming up all right, so this is day four. I will see you tomorrow for day five. All right, guys, see you next time.